Hi, my name is Diane Bowen and I am the designer behind From Blank Pages Patterns and I am really excited to show you my method for spray basting a quilt. Usually I do this with minky on the back and so that's why I do it the way that I do but today I'm going to show you with a pieced quilt back. Before you get started, the first thing you want to do is get some old sheets to lay down that are bigger than the quilt you're going to baste and so my I have two sheets. Um, because my quilt is bigger than my sheet and then you'll want to tape those down with some duct tape so I've already done that and then the second thing you want to do is um, just work in an area where if any spray basting does overlap the sheets that it's not a big deal usually I do this on my kitchen floor but we just put in new floorings and I don't really want to scrub that off them so I am doing it outside and as you can see I needed to adjust my sheets a little bit more but I am doing this outside. I blew off our driveway and I put my sheets down and taped them down and then I put the quilt back on the ground and you can see I just kind of spread it out. You want to make it really smooth and make sure that it's not really too tight but just that it's really smoothed out and really flat. And so the next thing you'll do is you just get your batting and you just want to lay it out. First you want to position it. I took a minute to position it where I wanted my quilt to overlap the backing fabric. So you want to get it right in the middle. My batting is a little bit narrower than I usually like it, but it's still wider than my quilt top. But you can see how my quilt back is way bigger. And that just really helps when you're aligning your sandwich layers for your quilt, just to make it really easy so that everything's lined up properly. So there I laid out my batting and then I just smoothed it out pretty smooth just to make sure that when it was all the way smoothed out that it still fit in within the boundaries of the quilt back where I wanted it. So now I start in the middle so I pulled half of the quilt batting back and then I just do some spray basting just back and forth you want to keep your can kind of level to the ground and just spray lines from one edge to the other just going back and forth like you saw and then here I'm just pushing my hands underneath and so I'm leading in the center and just going out and I'm just pushing really carefully to make sure that it is going to spread out flat and not be bunchy and not be stretched out just so it's really smooth and then when you get to the point where you didn't spray base just pull it back again and you'll feel it where it kind of is tight where it was glued so just pull it back and then spray again and then just keep smoothing it out so then once I do that I'm going to go around to the other side and I just pull it back and you'll be able to feel where you started spray basing because it'll just get tight right there you can see how it kind of got tight and wouldn't pull back anymore so that's where you're gonna start and you're just gonna spray your lines again and then again just start in the middle and you'll push out so I it's spring in Mississippi and the tree above our driveway is dropping so much stuff so even in the short time it takes me to base this so there you saw how it kind of bunched and that's just because I didn't pull the top so what I do is I'll pull the top of the quilt and make sure that it's not bunching underneath um, and then I just lead with my hands from the center and go from side to side just kind of pushing it out so that it's taut as I push it out um, and and just really smooth and then once you get to where it's not sticky anymore then you just spray again and then you just keep smoothing it out you can see a few little bunches there in the batting and so I will actually smooth those out um, before which I did I cut that out of the video um, and then you'll get your quilt top and you just kind of repeat the same thing and so here it's really important that your quilt top covers all the edges um, and that there is batting and backing that extends past the edges of the quilt top just sometimes when you're quilting um, it'll kind of shrink in as you you put that thread and the needle through and so you do want it bigger than your quilt top so that it all is even when you're finished with the quilting and then just smooth it out so you know that it's centered so here's my quilt top on top of the batting and it's ready to go and I will just repeat the same steps that I did with the batting so I just go halfway in the middle and pull it back and 
pick all your leaf, little flower bits off from the tree if you're doing this outside of Mississippi in the spring. <laughs> um, and then just go back and forth and spray your spray basting. And then just really carefully in the middle. So you see, you kind of see how I lifted it up. I kind of pull the top with one hand so that it's, you know, out of the way so it's not getting folded under. Um, and then I just, with my other hand, I keep it really flat and open. I open up my fingers, just keep it really flat on the quilt top and just push out um, from the center. And so here you can kind of really see how I do that and how I pull the quilt top just to keep it taut as you go. Um, but then that just helps so all the layers don't bunch. And I did slow down this part of the video so you can really just get a better idea of what I'm doing and how I'm smoothing it out and just kind of pulling it tight and keeping it even. Sometimes when you get to the edges, you'll notice that like the bias seams will stretch and so you just want to push everything flat and just try and keep everything even and not let it get distorted with those bias edges. But you can try it out as you do it. Um, and then here I just needed to spray the end of it, didn't get spray. So I'm just going to go back. My daughter came and was talking to me. So um, anyway, that's what I'm doing too. But you just want to make sure you get any threads out. And then you see how I kind of just had to put my hand. If you do need to pull it back after you glued it, that's fine. Just really hold the batting down so it doesn't shift. Um, Usually I do this with minky, so that's why I base my quilts this way, is because I almost always put minky on the back. So when you're putting the batting, or your your minky down first, you don't want to stretch it out over the sheets. You want to put it down so it's flat and so it's really smooth. But I'll actually like just pat it smooth rather than push it out because I don't want it to stretch. Because if it's stretched out and then I put my batting on it, when it goes back to normal, my batting is going to be really bunchy. And same with the quilt top if my minky was stretched out. So that's um, one thing to pay attention to. If you use minky, this is a great way to baste your quilts. But just make sure that it's smooth and then really you have to be really careful. You cannot pull your batting back if you've put it on the minky because it will stretch it out and distort it. And then it takes some time to smooth that back out so it's smooth and flat um, before you do that. And then here you can just see again how I hold on to the quilt top that is not basted yet. And I kind of pull it taut and then that helps me as I smooth it out that it will lay flat and be taut tight. But not stretched out um, and then just keep smoothing it out till you get to the end. And then I'll just trim around the excess of the sandwich because, and then that just really helps that when you're quilting it that part of that backing or part of that extra batting doesn't get folded underneath your quilt and sewn onto the back because that can really be a mess to pick out. So I hope you found that helpful and I am so happy to do these little tutorials for you. So if it's helpful, please push the like button and hit subscribe so you can be notified when I do some more videos and leave a comment. The pattern I used in this one is the Rise Above pattern and there's nine, ten different hot air balloons that go with it. You can find that in my shop at FromBlankPages.com. Thanks for tuning in. Happy creating and happy quilting.